Hey guys, it's Nicole from ConvertKit. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through creating a link trigger and how to use that link trigger for to have a subscriber one-click subscribe to a sequence. So I'm on the automations page and I've clicked to create a new rule. This opens up an uh, option to choose my trigger and my action. So for a trigger, I wanna select the option clicks a link. It's gonna ask me to put in a name and a destination URL. The name is optional and it is for internal uses only. So it's intended to help you keep track of all your different link triggers. So I'm gonna call this new sequence. And just for our purposes, my link is gonna be convertkit.com. So now I wanna select my action and I want my action to be subscribed to a sequence. And I'm gonna select my sequence here, and then I'm gonna click Save Rule. Now, let's say I'm sending a broadcast out to my list to announce my new sequence. So I'm gonna create a new broadcast. All right, so now let's say, so to insert the link trigger, I'm going to write my email and select the text I want to be the hyperlink. Then I'm gonna choose the link button in the email editor and insert link. Now, it gives me an option to input the URL, but since it's a link trigger, I actually want to select it from this drop-down menu instead. So this is new sequence, the one I just created. And now I can see it has this little lightning bolt icon, and it doesn't allow me to edit the URL. That lets you know that you've selected the link trigger properly. I'm going to click Insert. Now, just to double check and make sure I put it in correctly, if I click this link, I see this little lightning bolt icon right here. That means this link is a link trigger. So if I simply put, let me clear the trigger. If I simply have this URL and I click, you see the lightning bolt icon is no longer there. So that is not going to add anyone who clicks on this link to my sequence. But if I get the link trigger in, then it will. One thing I want to note too is if you just didn't have any text highlighted and you just click link, and you select your link trigger, it'll automatically populate the URL, but you can also edit the text here. There you go. So that's another way you can do it as well if you want to name it using the link inserter as opposed to writing it in the broadcast. So now, whenever a subscriber clicks on this link, they'll be automatically added to your sequence. Super easy um, and a great way to um, offer a new, like a free mail course or something to your subscribers. So that's it on link triggers to sequences. In another video, I'll show you how to do link triggers and adding a tag. Thanks for watching.